As you noticed, there's obviously still a person in the car. This here is Tesla's safety monitor. Every Tesla RoboTaxi has one, and that person has a few special buttons they can press on the main display, one to pull over and one to stop in lane in case they notice anything going wrong. They all also seem to keep a rather firm grip on the door opening button for some reason. Some people think it's another way to safely disengage FSD. Thankfully though, none of these buttons were needed to be pressed during any of my rides. It's pretty normal so far, right? Please exit safely. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thanks. Have a great day. Peace off. Fundamentally, it went totally fine. The car showed up, we got in, it drove like a normal person would, it navigated the streets, and even some slightly odd scenarios very confidently. I did a few more rides around Austin just to various places, and in general, it was confident, it was impressive, and the pickups and drop-offs were mostly seamless as they would